Chipotle, if you're not familiar with it, is like a pretty good burrito restaurant. Now, I'm not gonna say, Oh my god, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. But it's consistent, and there's very little E. coli, so that's nice. One thing I've noticed, though, every time we're at Chipotle, the line is either pretty long or almost to the door. And yet people are willing to wait for it for a while. It's important that as a creative person, you understand what ideas and creativity really are. We have a lot of long-standing things like writer's block and creative block that create a false scarcity for ideas. And really, we do it to ourselves. A few months back, I made two videos, Stop Saving Your Ideas and How to Get Ideas. And I talked about how saving an idea because it's not ready or you feel like you're not good enough is actually harming you. Saving your ideas isn't like putting them in a bank. They aren't earning any interest. Really, think of your ideas as in line at Chipotle, and you're the employee standing at the door saying, it's just gonna be a few more minutes, we're trying to get everything ready, or we're really trying to perfect the burritos in front of you. Now, you can save them for a while, but eventually your ideas will find another Chipotle. You need to start thinking about creativity as a muscle. That is all it is. It's habit forming and execution. When you don't have enough ideas, it's likely that you treat them as precious or hold them to too high a standard. And while you're waiting for the next big thing to hit you, you aren't doing anything. What you need to do is stop putting it off, sit down, and make something. It might be difficult at first as you flex that creative muscle, but as you work and as you do so, you stop the atrophy. Then the ideas, the good ideas, will start to come. You're also harming yourself if you have too many ideas or you're waiting with this one project that you're working on because you feel like, well, this is my big idea, but it's not quite ready yet. I need to make it just perfect. And then you aren't sharing anything about it because you're like, well, this is going to be the big reveal and this will be the Kickstarter campaign and the merchandising deal and the sponsorship from Coca-Cola. And meanwhile, you aren't doing anything. You're putting it off. You're hiding it you're also getting new ideas while you're doing this. And you're saying, we're just trying to perfect the burritos in front of you. It doesn't work out. It's not sustainable. It took me forever, way too long to learn this. I was planning projects so far out in advance. I was thinking, well, this will be my comic and this will be a game or this will be my short animation, which my experience as an animator is pretty limited. So go figure out how I thought I was going to make that work. And in the meantime, I was working on things that didn't matter. I wasn't working on anything of importance. But you have to remember that creativity is a muscle. So form the habit and execute. This 100 days, 100 characters project has been fantastic for me because no matter what, by the end of the day, I have to have created a character. It's put my back against the wall and I feel like even though there are definitely some characters I have not been happy with that have gone out, I feel like now a month into the project, a little bit over, I feel like I'm on a little bit of a hot streak and we'll see how long that lasts. But the line at the Chipotle is moving. The ideas are taking less time, they're, they're moving through. And just for that reason, I made $835 million in the first quarter of 2016. That's Chipotle, not me. I just put stuff out. Whether you have too many ideas or none at all, they aren't doing you any good unless you flex your creative muscle and execute. I'm making new videos every week at Character Design Forge. Subscribing on YouTube lets you know when new videos are made available. You guys have been going crazy with the subscriptions lately, and I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. It's cool to see the time and effort I put into this project paying off. My course, Learn Character Design, I've actually been working on all day today, making videos and material for the course. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait for you to see it. This pulls down, goes through that wall in front of you that's keeping you from being a good character designer. Sign up at learncharacterdesign.com to be notified when it's available. It's coming this month, June 2016. More info as soon as I can. Super excited. Thank you for watching and have fun creating. Guacamole's Extra.